food baby i love food and i know that you love food too today i will share with you the top 10 meals of 2018 in my opinion these were fantastic meals that means food and drink there will be no asmr videos in this video but yeah just amazing stuff from all over the world and yeah i can't wait i have a gin and tonic here my favorite drink still at the moment in 2018 so yeah let's just begin for number 10 we go to the philippines filipino spaghetti and calamansi juice drink this was just absolutely splendid the spaghetti were way better than they sounded there's like sweet banana ketchup inside and some sausages yeah it didn't sound very appealing and i didn't give a high rating but i really like to remember this dish and yeah when I think about it, I definitely have to do it again. It was so much better than I expected. And the calamansi juice drink, I love all citrus flavored juice drinks. This was splendid. There we go. Definitely sweet. I try to make sure not to put too much of this banana sauce inside. Yeah, there is a nice flavor though i mean the sauce as it was wasn't so good but it works really well i have to say inside here let's check out this drink then i like the color already mm -hmm. very refreshing great mm. Number nine, we stay in Asia, but we go to Cambodia. Beef Lok Lak and Angkor. I did the beef Lok Lak myself. I bought some Kampot pepper, which is a very flavorful and fragrant pepper. You have to try it if you've never had it. I took a fermented version. It was pretty much the best pepper that I've ever had. And I really liked the dish. It was very like extreme when it comes to the flavor, but still there was a balance. There was a bit of salad. The beef was great with the sauce. So I really enjoyed it. The beer was all right, nothing special, but definitely check it out if you can. It's not so hard to do it, I think. And this is my number nine. So let's start with the beef here. And this is filet. And the sauce, look at the glaze there. Mm. Mm. Amazing. There's some shallots as well, some garlic. It's very, very good. Mm. Let's try the beer. There you go, not much to see, but certainly good with the dish here. Number eight, we go to Denmark, Smörderbröd and Faxe beer. <laughs> Smörderbröd, it was just a blast to do these. Those are open-faced sandwiches where you put basically a lot of stuff on top. I had like small shrimp, I think, then salmon, uh, potato salads, and yeah, all these kinds of little herbs and things. And it was just amazing to eat this. Of course, a beer is nice with it, water would be nice with it, but I really enjoyed the combination. And it was very healthy in this episode because I took a whole grain bread as a base and yeah, this is just the next level when it comes to open-faced sandwiches. So, Sparbrot and Faxe, number eight. Look at that beauty. Mmm, horseradish, salmon, egg and scallions. Fantastic. So let's continue with the avocado and potato salad with cucumbers and cress on top. Mm. Amazing. Let's try to get some baby spinach. Mm-hmm. 
And there we go. That looks very good and promising. Mm. Number seven, we go back to Asia, Thailand, coconut rice and coconut nectar or coconut drink. The rice, I heard a lot about it already. I've seen videos on YouTube, but I didn't expect it to be that flavorful on that day. That blew my mind with the mango together and there were some peanuts and this coconut nectar was also better, really better than I expected. So this was a very harmonic um, dish and I enjoyed it. Thailand number seven. Very sticky as expected from the looks. Mm. Nice and sweet, coconutty, great. Mm. So it has a bit of a color there. Nice. Ooh, that's different than what I expected. sweet this is amazing number six we go to mexico i just did this video recently torta chorizo torta and tequila sunrise i've been really sleeping on the tequila sunrise i had a nice tequila and good orange juice and yeah a nice grenadine syrup and it was fantastic and also the torta the sandwich so great i want to try more variations um, the mexican cuisine is one that I like a lot also because of the cilantro it just gives a nice kick and there's always a bit of spice involved so this is just down my alley and sandwiches are always great so definitely check this out looks very pretty and let's have a taste I haven't had it in so many years mm. At the bottom, it's a bit sweet. On top, due to orange juice, a bit more acidic. The tequila, very smooth. So fantastic drink. Let's check it out. Mm. Mm. The chorizo. It's a bit crispy, cilantro gives a great kick, the beans at the bottom. Mm. Number five, England, English cheese and gimlet. Gimlet is a drink with two components, gin and lime juice cordial. That's it, just simple and amazing, just like this gin and tonic here with a bit of cucumber, which really shines now at the end there. The English cheese was fantastic as well. I went to a nice cheese shop where they have very, very good cheese, high quality cheese. So a short drink here, Gimlet. And that is beautiful, nice lime flavor, nice gin flavor. So simple, so perfect. There we go, the first one, cranberries. Mm. Wow, that is beautiful and unlike every other cheddar that I've had so far. And now the Stilton, I don't know which direction this will go. Number four, Jamaica, banana bread and Appleton Estate rum. The rum was fine, it was good, but the real star of the show, the banana bread, I was just blown away by the flavor. I did it myself and it turned out to be absolutely fantastic. I will do it for sure many, many more times in my life because, yeah, 
I thought I would have it for a couple of days, but I think I destroyed it on the first day because it was so good, so flavorful, so banana-y without being overwhelming. So yeah, Jamaica, great stuff, number four. Mm, that's not bad at all. At the end, you get like the raisin aroma. At the beginning, it's a bit floral, even I would say, a bit lighter than I expected. But yeah, at the end you get a nice rum aroma, nice raisin aroma. That's pretty good. I'm so excited. Let's go. Mm. Great banana flavor. Amazing texture. Mm. That's beautiful. Mm. The crust is fantastic. Top three, and we start with France. Tartiflette and Gewurztramina, which is a nice white wine. And Tartiflette, oh man, this is so amazing. I ate that when I was younger, like 20, 21. I was in France for one year and we did this dish. It's very simple of potatoes, bacon, onion and a nice monster cheese on top or a very flavorful and strong cheese. I took monster in my case because I was in Alsace. Yeah, it was just fantastic and it brought back memories. So number three, France. Bit of potato, cheese. Mm -hmm. mm. You really need good potatoes for this dish. And it is absolutely great. This wine will accompany the dish amazingly. So cheers. Nice and sweet. Number two, Georgia, Ajarudi, Kachapuri and mineral water. This here, this dish, Ajarudi, Kachapuri was maybe, yeah, pretty much the most flavorful that I ate this year. It's like a pizza dough or like a pita with Georgian cheese inside and an egg on top. So, so good. I took it from a restaurant and it was fantastic. And water is always great. I like mineral water, still water, maybe a bit more even. But this was really also pretty good water. Um, but here, the Ajaruli Kachapuri super super nice and actually it was my first time eating something from georgia so i'm looking forward to the next ones beautiful thing here mm. look at that beautiful so guys as expected the ajaruli kachapuri is fantastic i love water so Let's give this mineral water a try. Mmm. Whoa. You definitely have some minerals in this. Nice. And my favorite dish of 2018, Nasi Lemak and Litchi juice drink. I did this dish myself pretty early in January 2018 and it blew my mind it sounded so so simple with fried peanuts fried sardines a bit of cucumber then some uh, samba and egg but it was yeah it was just so great and coconut rice of course the rice was so flavorful pretty much the best rice that i ever did here at home and all the components were amazing the egg had like two yolks so it was very special as well and this i want to do for other people as well i want to show them how to do it because it's such a fantastic dish and i'm looking forward to the next time that i can do it and create it so yeah you can do many variations and definitely something that you need to try in your life Malaysia nasi lemak I need to have the flavor mm. 
you get like the coconut aroma, the ginger aroma, very nice. One small anchovy. Great stuff. Let's have some roasted peanuts. A bit of egg. Two yolks. That's really great. bit of cucumber, very nice. And we got very spicy sambal as well. Mm -hmm. Now we are talking. Oh yeah, great lychee aroma. I haven't had it in so many years actually I think. Yeah guys, this was 2018 for me. I'm really looking forward to 2019. I hope you will join me on my journey. I will still do the ASMR videos. I will still do the food and drink videos. I will try to evolve and make better content for you. And I'm really looking forward to all the dishes from all over the world because this is what makes this channel special for me, for you of course, but also for me, it's like a research project. I'm looking for the best food and amazing food all around the world. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what your favorite food was this year and comment, like or dislike, subscribe of course to my channel. See ya.